Alright, this video is on multiplying complex numbers. So I have the same two complex numbers up here that we used in the last video, but now we're going to multiply them together. Um, when we multiply these together, we need to um, think of this just like you were multiplying 2 plus x times 2 plus uh, y. You would FOIL these out first, outside, inside, last, and I'm going to do this with the box method because um, it's just a little different way of multiplying binomials. So I want to do that just to um, demonstrate, a, demonstrate a different way to do that. Okay. So here's how you multiply binomials with the box method. You are first going to draw a box like such. There we go. And we take the first binomial and we write the A part right here and we write the imaginary or bi part right there. We take the second binomial, we write the a part right there, or the real part. We write the b part or the imaginary part right there. And so then you say to yourself, 4 times 2 is 8, and so you write the 8 right there. And then you say 4 times 3 is 12, so I have a 12i. Two times negative 1 is negative 2, so I have a negative 2i. Negative 1 times 3, well that's going to be negative 3. i times i is i, I squared. There's my little square right there. So now I have an 8, and I have a plus 12i minus 2i minus 3i squared. You would get the same thing from foiling. First, outsides, insides, last. Okay, let's do a little simplifying. There's the 8. Positive 12i minus 2i. Well, that's going to be a positive 10i. Here we have minus 3, but we have i squared. So remember the definition of i squared. i squared by definition is negative 1. So in place of i squared, I'm going to write negative 1. Let's continue to simplify. So I have 8 plus 10i. Negative 3 times negative 1, that's positive. So this is going to be a plus 3. And now I can add the 8 and the 3 together to give me 11. So this is 11 plus 10i. And that is the result, or the product, of multiplying these two complex numbers together. So that's the end of this video.